said there's an 11 year old Yemeni girl that's fleeing a family to avoid marriage. Um, tell us about her story. Yes, uh, her name is Nada Al Ahdal. She is uh, 11 year old uh, from Yemen. Uh, so one day, uh, according to her story, uh, she heard her father telling her um, cousins that she, she, somebody asked to marry her. So when she asked him, he said, uh, yes, somebody wanted to reserve you to be his future wife. So she said that night she thought about it and then decided to run away in the morning, which she, she did at uh, 6 o'clock in the morning. Wow, I, reserving a human being, it sounds uh, so barbaric. Uh, we understand that she posted, uh, this This has been posted, a video that she made on YouTube. Let's go ahead and take a look at this now. بس بعض الأطفال براءتهم ما يحلوش مشكلتهم يمكن يموتوا يمكن ينتحروا يمكن يفعلوا اللي براسهم لأنهم أطفال ما يدروش بحاجة يعني عندهم ما تعلموش ولا درسوا ولا حاجة يعني إيش ذنبنا هنا مش الوحيد أنا يمكن كل الأطفال في ناس كثير بعض الأطفال يعني دبزوا بنفسهم في البحر ما عباغي يعني إيش إيش البراءة هذه هذه ما إيش براءة صح انني انا هربت من عند لا عند عمي عمي ما كانش عمي ما كانش موجود فاني اتصلت لعبد الجبار يجيبني وعبد الجبار جاب لي بنت وسافرت انا اياها للحديده وعمي لما عرف بالموضوع قالي وكمان امي تشتد بلغت علينا الشرطه انا عمري 11 سنه وتشتد تزوجني يعني يعني ما فيش حياه ما فيش تعليم ما فيش قوه ما فيش بين قلبهم رحمه إيش هذه التربية معهم؟ الموت أرحمني إنني أموت ولا أبقى أنا أفضل أن أكون عند أمي ولا أفضل عندهم يقتلوني يهددوني غلولي إذا رحت عند أمك بالنقطيق يعني إيش هذا؟ إيش تهديد؟ يهددوا الأطفال يرضيكم زيي أنا كيف ها يزولوني يرضيكم وكمان أنا عادي القتل عندي عادي توا Mansoor, I got to admit to you, I, had, I hadn't seen that video until we played it just now, um, watching it along with our viewers for the first time. That is incredible. To, to, first of all, she's a beautiful young girl, and she looks younger than 11. Um, and what a strong, brave voice she has uh, to describe her situation, to go out on a limb and put herself out there in that video, and to hear her description of what her childhood is like, what the childhood is like of, of the others that she knows and in her family, um, is devastating. It's devastating. Is, is this message, is it resonating? Is it, gonna, is, is it going to work? Is it going to make a difference? Can it make a difference? Well, I hope so. She is very talented. She is very beautiful. And she is uh, very articulate in what she was saying. And she was appealing to everybody in, in the world, to uh, the UN, to the United States of America, and all people who believe in uh, human rights. She's asking, she was asking, are you do you accept me getting married so uh, this is a, a, an incredible child that needs protection uh, according to her uncle he fears that uh, she might be targeted by uh, some militant Islamist group who really don't want her story to to get international attention so I I think uh, it is very important to shed lights on uh, these kind of uh, issues, especially child marriage. We're going to see this. We're going to retweet it. We're going to put it out on links. Uh, what can people do? Go to your website, learn more. How can people help this girl and others like her? Yeah, it's available on YouTube. Once, uh, 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 if somebody writes uh, Nada Al Ahdal, her name, or goes to uh, www memory www memory.org, uh, uh, memorytv.org, you can see the video in there. Do people have, I'm assuming that in, in your world and in the groups of people that you talk to, uh, people must have the same type of very strong reaction and seeing videos like that and hearing these types of stories. Do you think people are unaware um, in, in general of this sort of thing that's going on? Well, uh, 
The story of child marriage, uh, it's, it's not a new story. It's, uh, we heard the story of Nujud uh, al-Ahdal uh, in 2008, who, 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 who is considered the youngest divorced woman. Uh, she got divorced at age, uh, age, age 10. Uh -huh. And she wrote a powerful book about her getting married to somebody uh, who is way older than her. We have so many stories in the Arab and Muslim worlds, and this problem should be addressed by uh, the U.S. government. And uh, pressure must be put on people who advocate for these kind of practices. Right. The real issue, I think, is uh, incriminating everybody who, who approves such uh, be uh, uh, practices in, in the Arab world, especially clerics and religious leaders. Now, the, uh, the, this, these people can easily issue a fatwa uh, uh, setting a minimum uh, age for marriage, but they don't do that because they think it is haram as uh, 140 uh, re religious scholars from Yemen issued a fatwa in 2010 saying that, that uh, setting a minimum age for marriage is prohibit, uh, prohibitable, uh, uh, is, uh, is haram, which right. is uh, prohib prohibited okay. in, in Islam. And, and yeah, this is why uh, this problem keeps growing, because people always look at their religious leader, and when uh, these leaders take uh, such a stand in, in, in uh, uh, this, this problem, it's, it's not going to be resolved. And right now there is a debate going on in Yemen, and uh, a video like this, uh, Nada's video, is going to push harder for ma uh, uh, setting a minimum age for, for marriage. This is why uh, the Islamists uh, want her to be silent, and they wanted right. to you know, to to just refute all the uh, her claims and and her story, and she is not the only one. Right, Mansoor, I've got to leave it there. An incredible story and topic that needs to be discussed. Uh, again, we want to encourage people to check out your website, memory.org, m-e-m-r-i.org. I want to appreciate the thank you, and we definitely appreciate your time and sharing the story, and especially that video and bringing it to everyone's attention.